sports and the arts. They pose a balancing act at the core of any community. And today on The Lunch Counter, we discuss the two from a Kootenai perspective. Hi, I'm Wayne Stetsky, Mayor of Cranbrook. We're here today to have a conversation about the importance of arts and recreation. Hi, my name is Doriel Davis and I'm here to talk about the importance of arts in the community. Hi, my name is Karen Ketmacher and I am a teacher and resident here in the East Kootenays and I'm here to talk about how important sports are for our community. Personally, I'm equally passionate. I love going to Kootenai Ice Games. I love going to Peace City Theatre. Uh, they bring out emotions in me that I don't, uh, that don't get brought out anywhere else. Um, so, but I'm interested, Karen, in, in your perspective. Like, what do you think sports does for Cranbrook and the East Kootenai? Well, I think um, the great thing about the Kootenays is that there is a wide, diverse choice of sporting activities for anybody to participate in, whether you have toddlers all the way up to seniors and the amount of choice that um, people have for options is very rich and diverse in the Kootenays. Do you think there's somebody for all age groups potentially then? Yeah, I think um, there's lots of uh, toddlers, whether they enter in gymnastics or swimming or uh, mom and me type programs and I know there's very active uh, senior groups. Uh, we have very diverse club movements and groups within um, the communities that all participate in a very active and healthy lifestyle. What about the arts? What do uh, arts do for you and how do you think we're doing with the arts? I, I think we're really moving along. We have more artists now and more places for them to show but also with something like the Cranbrook District Arts Council and the Arts Councils up the valley you find such a support system for new arts coming along. And that also is, is, I mean, our school system is wonderful with the arts and the school and the music because we must address that also. And it's, it's just amazing what comes out of this area. It's interesting because you hear more and more that uh, certainly the economy is important and people move to communities where there are jobs, but you also hear how important sort of lifestyle and quality of experiences are in attracting people to communities. So I think having a healthy arts and sports uh, opportunities for people is really important just to make it a desirable place to live as well. I think it's a really like big thing because it keeps the community together and everybody like happy and something to do. It's really important. It's a number one thing in the, in the community. Uh, both, you know, in hockey, ballet, swimming, whatever it might be. I'm a teacher. <laughs> and um, it's really, really, like the, the, the arts themselves, I wish we had more here. But when I go to other communities and that, I just love going to museums, et cetera, et cetera. So. Well, I think it's very important. Uh, uh, sports is a, a great uh, get-together. Uh, it's community spirit. All right, I've played a lot of sports in my life, and uh, I found that, uh, and my boys were in sports, I, I found that it was a, uh, it's a, it's just a terrific thing to, to have in the community because it brings everybody together. So, I mean, one of the things I think is really interesting is we, uh, if you drive Highway 3 through Cranbrook, we've got our banner of heroes, Cranbrook heroes, right? And it's interesting that 12 of those banners are related to sports and, and recreation, hockey, rowing. Mm -hmm. uh, five of the banners are related to arts and culture. And some of these people, uh, you know, like Brent Carver, for example, are known on a, an international basis, uh, as are some of our Olympic athletes that have come from Cranbrook. So I, th I think we're doing something right. Uh, in I do Cranbrook too. on both arts yeah. <laughs> and culture, given the kind of worldwide yeah. exposure that we get through some of those heroes. So, in terms of where the city is at, uh, we currently spend about 3% of our budget on arts and culture, so it's about $840,000 or so, and about 7% on recreation uh, associated activities. So, what do you think of that ratio? It's interesting because it almost reflected the banner ratios yes, in terms of the you know twelve sports and five five arts. 
three percent and seven percent. So, what, what do you think about that, and, and what do you think we could be doing more of, or be doing better in terms? Of? I, I think in a lot of ways, the it isn't as easy to see that person like man woman who received, uh, you know, from Alberta the award he received there from the heritage and um, that. It isn't, it isn't as easy to see that as it is the Kootenai Ice. I mean, that's... Or, Stanley Cup, or, the, or the Stanley Cup and, and, the, and the boys are coming home, yes. <laughs> it's easier to see that. Or soccer, you know. Um, I do think it's harder to see that. So uh, maybe that's something we just have to be a little bit more sensitive about to um, when that is showing. I mean, we, we have artists in this region who have their um, their <laughs> magazine article in the best magazines for art in North America. Right. And uh, I would suspect not many people know that unless you go through those magazines. So it isn't something that's... You're talking about sort of bragging up the fact that we have a, a lot of really successful artists yes. out of Cranberry. Yes, yeah. I, I don't think we've done that. And what do you feel about the 7% and 3%? Is a reflection of history? Or? Well, it's, it's tough. Dollars are short. And I think um, sporting groups have to get creative. Um, I mean, everybody wants a, more of the piece of pie, but if you take from one area, you've got to give up on another, right? Yeah. And uh, so I think one of the great things in our community is we've had people um, be able to go to outside sources. Yes. seek extra money so yes. uh, you know you have these pockets of strong individuals in our community who are able to go out seek find all sorts of um, avenues to to make ends meet and and get the fundraising and the grants so if you had to pick one thing <laughs> one thing you'd like to see you know perhaps the city do more of for moving ahead or Cranbrook do more of or the East Kootenays do more of looking ahead what, what would that be I, I would like to see uh, some of the bigger workshops come further down the valley. I don't mind going to Invermere, you know, for the workshops. I don't mind going up to Invermere for their big tour thing where there are 45 artists out in gardens and things and showing. And I was up there two years and it's absolutely amazing. I, but that was, a, they're a very organized group of people that believe strongly it's for tourism, it's to bring in all these people. And so, so they do that. We, we at this time are not, are not doing something. But so there are things that other communities on the East Kootenays are doing that we, the, we, we could, could bring here? We could easily copy okay. <laughs> and then make it our own. You know. What about for sports? Well, there's probably lots of things, but something that comes to mind for me is facilities. Uh, facilities are critical to the development of sports. Uh, unfortunately, they're expensive, but you know that's where I would like to see if I had to pick one thing is just facilities because um, it's important that these people have access and venues to participate. I think they're really good. Um, I mean, we've been into hockey and figure skating and for years and years and years. So, personally, I'm very proud of the Recplex. I think that's a great facility, and we've got um, awesome fields and stuff around for um, sports, soccer, baseball. One of the things I'd like to see, and in, in, in putting together a Highway Three Improvement Committee, is how we can incorporate art into Highway 3 as it goes through Cranbrook. So I'm looking forward to having some conversations on that as we move forward. I think what we have is um, admirable. I think they should be proud of it and, and any more from other artists would be good. It, it makes the community spaces look nice. I'm sure we could use more. I'm not into art. I hate to say that, uh, but I think uh, this, a display of art by the city uh, shows what, what the community is all about. You know, and uh, I, I think it is important. So how do you think Cranbrook does in terms of sort of a regional or provincial perspective around sports? Well, compared to other communities, um, 
there's a few real positives to the sporting community and the Kootenays. Um, number, the best thing is commuting. Um, you know, if you live in your other areas, you're either going to have less choice or you're going to have to commute a great distance. And you know, most of our communities are small little commutes to to our sporting venues, which is really beneficial for families that are busy. You know, the other thing that comes to mind again compared to um, larger centers is that your families can participate in many different sports here. They're affordable, um, there's lots of access and you know uh, you can compete in multiple activities and that's very unusual. You know typically as kids develop um, they are, um, choose one sport perhaps and, and we're very fortunate in the Kootenays that that kids are able to choose many different activities to participate in, um, a as well as adults and seniors. Well, and in terms of the college, I guess, as well, right? The, at least on the volleyball side, um, you can go all the way to college level volleyball, and there's interest in looking forward to perhaps having a college level baseball team here in Cranbrook. On the art side, and, and quite frankly, we do here, uh, I have heard that um, on a percentage basis, Cranbrook doesn't provide as much funding for the arts as some of the other communities in, yes. in the Kootenays. That's true. And so but in general, uh, what do you think we should, you mentioned a couple of things about uh, bringing to Cranbrook some of the workshops, for example, that happen in other communities, but how would you sort of rate the arts in some of the other communities in the East Kootenay or beyond and some of the other ideas you'd like to see us look at? It? Most of us go out of Cranbrook to show we go to uh, we go to Pine Logs in in uh, in Vermeer. We we go up to Center 64 in Kimberley. Uh, the the Arts District up in Golden is an amazing place. It's a beautiful beautiful venue. Um, so so in that way, we we are a little less. But on the other hand, we have people from Preston bringing their art to Cranbrook because we have more population to be looking at the art. From the city's perspective, in 2014, we have put half a million dollars potentially into the budget to solidify a home for the arts in Cranbrook. So we're, we're only two years away from that. So hopefully we get there. That isn't that long. <laughs> and, if, and if something happens before then, even better.